Tom, obviously, Julius is going to have surgery now. Just when did you know that it got to this point, and what do you think it means for you guys moving forward? Well, I think, you know, we knew it was a possibility all along. Uh, he did all that he could uh, to try to get back, and he never got to the point where he felt comfortable with it. So uh, it's a tough break for him, but our reality is what our reality is, and that's the one thing that I'm proud of with our team that is they've shown great fight all year long when guys have gone out. So we were approaching it um, as if we weren't gonna have them. And then if we got them, it would have been a bonus for us. So just keep doing what we're doing. Tom, what, what is the actual surgery that he's having? I don't know exactly what it is, you know, so um, I'll get more information. Is it on, is it on ligament? Is it on tendon? Is it on muscle? Uh, that would be a medical question. Well, can we talk to the medical group? Medical. <laughs> Have you talked but, uh, to They'll put something out. <laughs> Have you talked to Julius? I haven't talked to him uh, since uh, the other day, but I will. Does the... How, how um, he obviously was making such an effort to come back, yeah. and the rehab process sounded really painful. How, how much of a bummer is it just for him as a Yeah, it, no, it's a, it, look, it's, it's a tough, you don't want to see anyone get hurt and in his case you know he went through last summer and then he was having a terrific season and you know but this is part of it you know if, if you're playing pro sports injuries are part of it and so um you know just you know he'll take care of his shoulder and then he'll be rehabbing and he'll be ready for next season so in the meantime the guys that are here we have to lock into the challenges that we have uh and and get ready for what's coming does the clarity, obviously it was uncertainty as to whether he was gonna come back or not, does that mean for you guys? No, like we were approaching it the way we were. Like we didn't have guys, the next guy get in there, get the job done. And uh, you know, I've said this to you guys from the start, yeah, we're not replacing Julius individually, you're doing it collectively. And that's the one thing that this team has responded extremely well to. You mentioned for Julius, you guys felt like getting him back would be a bonus. Is it right. the same with OG or is there a different expectation? OG's doing there? well. So just, you know, he, he's getting closer. So we're optimistic, cautiously optimistic with that one. Is he taking contact yet? Oh, uh, he is. I have great belief in our team. Like, in, I think you go into the season thinking about all the possibilities and you know injuries are part of it. And so how do you deal with it? You have to have that mindset and that framework in place already. So when someone goes out, the next guy comes in and understanding you can be shorthanded and you can still win. So if we play defense and we rebound the ball well, and we take care of the ball, we'll be in position to win. And that doesn't matter who we're playing against or where we're playing. So we know that those are the three things that we have to do regardless. And you know we're not going to replace any individual players in the. Sometimes it, you know, it, like it's 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 a team game, so the best team wins, and that's all we have to focus on: being a team, be a team. Tom, does the decision now have to do with the timing of him getting back next season, or was it just clear that he was not going to be in playing shape for the rest of the season? Yeah, I think he just you know, it, and we didn't know how it was going to unfold. Okay. So just we, we you know we wanted to take a look at could we rehab it and strengthen it, get it to the point where he could play, and we could never get there. So we, you know, this is the decision. You gather the information, you know, you can't make a decision based on part of the information. You, I think you, you try to get as much information as you can and then make a good decision. And, and look, at the end of the day, Julius has to trust his body. You know, that's the bottom line. He's got to be able to get out there and feel that he can play at the level that he can play at and absorb the physicality of this league. So that's, you know, he's got to trust his gut on that. And so he did everything he could and that's all you can ask of anyone, and then move on. Tom, just uh, short stints for Mitch so far. Just how would you assess how he must look in the three games? Yeah, about what you would expect. You know, some good moments, some moments that obviously could be better. Each day should get better. That's what we're hoping for. What are you, I guess, looking for for benchmarks for OG now? With him kind of working? Well, the, the one thing is, you know, when he came back the, the first time, we, we already got to look at what it will look like. You know, and his game is unique because it's defense, it's rebounding, it's moving without the ball, it's running the floor and being versatile on, on offense, but he can fit in seamlessly. I think that'll be fine. Is you know, the, the one thing about, you know, 
being an elbow injury, he can do the conditioning part of it, you know. So that was the, that's the one positive probably that out of all that. Is he playing the four or five on five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 